folks, I've got some bad news. Um, but I want to be up front and say that this is a comedy show, so it's fake bad news. Um, <laughs> Because uh, there's actual bad news out there in the world. And um, all of our thoughts and prayers and our good wishes go to the people who are suffering everywhere in the world at the hands of terrorism. This time, it's Istanbul. And um, it is heartbreaking to see this happen over and over again. Um, and as just an aside, I would like to say something to... Um, all the news organizations out there. Um, is it really necessary to show us photographs or rolling video of a terrorist exploding? That really seems like advertising for someone's cause in a way that they may like. I don't think we need to see that. Meanwhile, in the world of fake tragedy, uh, evidently, uh, the Earth is running out of helium. It's a non-renewable gas used in rocket engines, semiconductors, and most importantly, in bachelorette party penis balloons. <laughs> I've been told. I would know. The shortage is so dire that many of those penis balloons can only be inflated to half-mast. It's sad. <laughs> Fortunately, we may have a solution because a huge helium gas field has been found in Tanzania. Geologists were confident they had found a new helium reserve when they saw the spot marked to a grad who's out of this world. <laughs> Joining me now to discuss this amazing discovery, uh, right now we are joined live via satellite, I believe, uh, by two scientists at the helium site over in Tanzania. Uh, the two scientists we have with us tonight are Director of Medical Research at MIT, Dr. Gerald Reinhardt, and Distinguished Chair of Earth Sciences at Durham University, Dr. Rebecca Tavage. Thank you for joining me, doctors. Thank you, Stephen. <laughs> it's an honor to be here. Now, tell me exactly what it is that the two of you over in Tanzania have discovered at the site? Well, in just one section of Tanzania's East African Rift Valley, we found 54 billion cubic feet of helium. To put that in perspective, that's a buttload of helium. Okay, uh, let me go straight. Thank you. This is a very, very fascinating discovery. Now, this is crucial because we were due to run out of helium in just 20 years, if I'm not mistaken. Absolutely, Stephen. <laughs> That is nothing to joke about. You see, helium is an integral component in the Large Hadron Collider and MRI machines. So that's fine. We'll... Excuse me, I dropped something. <laughs> Bring relief to millions of gravely ill patients who deserve to be treated with dignity. Uh -huh, okay, yeah, yeah, yes. Anything great. to add to that, Doctor? Uh, well, Stephen, I got to tie my shoes. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I understand. We don't want to fall over there. Looks like you're on some hills. You might tumble down the hill there. Yes? Well, that's why we're taking this so seriously, Stephen. The entire academic community is unified in saying, we. Well, thank you so much for your time, both of you over there in Tanzania. I know you're busy, distinguished scientists. It is our pleasure, Stephen. Yay! Bye! Oh, uh, they're doing great work.